WatchHollywood.tv, and as you know, you've been following us with this amazing Mars One project. We have a fabulous candidate, one of our female candidates, Delia Ross, and she's here live, I believe, from Missouri. Is that correct? I'm actually in Mobile, Alabama right now. Oh, okay. Well, you lived in Missouri. Uh -huh. I do live in uh, Missouri, I call it Missouri, but uh, I travel around a lot in the military, that's not where I'm from. <laughs> okay, so you're uh, live from Alabama. Alabama. So you have to give me that southern accent now. <laughs> so, a little, so I, before we get started, I, I do want to um, inform our viewers now a little bit about uh, Delia Ross. She's an amazing, extraordinary, talented woman. She's a writer, a poet. She's currently finishing her book, um, The Island of a Thousand Years. Is that correct? Thousand Tears, yes. Thank you. Yeah, Thousand Tears. <laughs> and uh, she also served 11 years in the U.S. Army. Uh, she was awarded five medals. She's traveled the world. And she's a mother. Of, I believe your daughter's uh, 14. She's 16. She's 16 now? She just turned 18. I'm sorry. I'm 18? Nervous. Wow. <laughs> She's 16, yes. I'm sure you both look Hi, like... Isabella. <laughs> Hi, Isabella. Hi, Isabella. watching. <laughs> so, uh, I do want to let everyone know that um, you are one of the candidates that have been uh, pre-selected for Mars One Project. And as you know, there's uh, primary uh, personal attributes for a successful uh, astronaut on this mission and uh, a few of them are emotional and uh, psychological stability. So with your studies as a um, psych major and now getting your master's in um, clinical psychology, is that correct? Um, I was. I've actually changed my degree. I was working towards my MBA, but I, I, ha I did work as a combat medic and I've been deployed as a combat medic. So I have um, a lot of certification on the medical side. So with as well as my bachelor's in psychology. Exactly. And so with that said, uh, with your emotional and psychological stability, let us give us um, how can you in a scenario apply that for during the crew's departure and landing on Mars with all your studies and your preparation? Yes, I, and I do believe um, that all the training I've had in the military will help me with that, but it's going to be crucial, um, the training that Mars One gives us as well, because even though I deployed as a combat medic and I've lived in hostile environments and through stressful situations, um, it, you need to know your crew and uh, you need to know how to work well under pressure and under stress and when things go wrong. And I definitely had to deal with that kind of stuff in the military. So, I believe all my, my training over the years in the military has prepped me for this mission. It's going to be an amazing team support Mars One. Absolutely, and I have no doubt that you're going to be more than an asset to this project. And you have such a, uh, a vibrant personality. I, I remember when I saw your submission video on YouTube, you were just so much fun and full of energy. It was just so hard not, not to smile just looking at you. You know, and you're actually wearing your glasses, so now it's it's nice to see your your beautiful big eyes. <laughs> so with the submission video, uh, with the submission video, you did mention um, two characteristics um, out of the five, and one of them is uh, to that basically to be adaptable and resilient. So can you give us an example of each? in the actual practical situation in Mars, based on what you mentioned in your submission video on Mars One Project? Well, a lot of it is um, handling how to manage and handle stress. So in the military, they train us about resiliency and bouncing back from stressful situations. And when you get to a point where little things start agitating you, that's when you really need to take a step back and, and think about why you're stressed out and how to solve that, that issue. Um, and they tell us to look for the good stuff every day, you know, and to focus on the positive. And that's what I, initially, that's what I try to do in life, is just focus on the positive. Even when something bad is happening, you can always see something positive coming out of it. And I think that is an important outlook to have. Um, and, I mean, we have things thrown at us every day when we deploy. Um, 
and it was a wartime situation. And when we when we landed in Kuwait, uh, the worst sandstorm in 50 years hit, and that's not something we trained for. And so we're putting up, you know, our our hospital during a sandstorm, and uh, wow. it it was pretty intense. It was raining red mud, literally. <laughs> now, and, and so you just got to focus. You know, you got to got to stay focused on the mission and yeah. what you're there for. And you've got to know the team that you're working with, and you have to stay positive. So that's one of the ways that you can stay, you know, resilient and bounce back from success. And an actual, yeah, in, a, in an actual situation. And and I salute you, uh, Delia, because I'm as a sibling. My brother served 14 years infantry um, and also a ranger for the U.S. Army. And I, as a sibling, I know what it feels to have someone close to you to be deployed and have their life at risk. And going with that, uh, you know very well that there's no guarantee uh, return back uh, to Earth from Mars. So what goes through your mind, just the thought of knowing that you're leaving your life, your friends, your family, your daughter, and you're going to Mars and leaving everything behind. What goes through your mind that moment? Well, I mean, I think that I have to focus on what I'll be gaining and um, not what I'm going to be losing, but what I'm going to be gaining from it, and it's not as if, if I go to Mars, that I'm cutting off all contact from civilization. I'll still have access to talk to my friends and my family, um, and right, there'll be the delay, and those are some of the challenges that we'll have to learn to adapt to, but um, it's not as if we're going to Mars and like that's the end of, you know, humanity for us. It's, it's very important mission, and spiritually and emotionally, there's so much that I can learn, and uh, I think every day on Mars, I'll actually be living my life. You know, we kind of get complacent here on Earth, and um, people can get into depression because just, there's so much. But there, every day will be a challenge, and it will not be a waste, you know, of life. And that's just how I look at it. All the positive things that you can gain from it.